back to talking about Milton tonight as it has blown into Florida right now. They're dealing with some of the ramifications of that at this hour. Yeah, we've got Chief Meteorologist Dave Nussbaum joining us. You've been tracking Milton for us today, Dave. That's right. Again, we talked about it earlier. Made landfall around 830 Eastern Time, 730 our time in Siesta Key, Florida is a category three. That pressure at 954 millibars. And now that center of circulation is now moving inland here away from the Bradenton and Sarasota area back down to Port Charlotte. So the back end of the eye, which is when you get some of your strongest winds, is now working its way through parts there of central Florida. It will continue to work its way across the area, moving on in throughout the rest of the night. So uh, kind of going to be very noisy and busy busy night here across Florida as it continues to move through. But now we're starting to see these winds coming from the back side of this. So now they're going to be wrapping around like this. And what that's going to do eventually is push more of that water in toward Bradenton, Sarasota in the Tampa area. And so that storm surge will come up on top of the 13, 14, over 16 inches of rain in spots in some locations here. As you can see right through Tampa, flash flood emergencies are in effect with significant rainfall flooding on top of the flash flooding. Then you have wind gusts over nine miles per hour there near Tampa, St. Pete, Bradenton, Sarasota area, 83 inland. You can see where that center of circulation is as that works its way toward the Orlando area and hundreds of thousands of customers, of course, without power across the Florida area, and that'll just get worse overnight. Now we are seeing dry air building in. That's why the southern part of the state really missing out on the worst of this, but all that moisture heading up to Tampa in the Orlando area, and that'll continue through the night. Notice the wind field, how much it's grew throughout the day, which we expected it to do as the storm comes kind of started dealing with a little bit of weakening out there. Now, as the storm moves through now, as winds are sustained at 105 and moving east northeast at 16, we'll cross over Florida by 7 a.m. It's right in the Atlantic Ocean and we'll continue on that track through the Atlantic toward Bermuda, weakening to a tropical depression and out that way, but no longer posing a threat to the United States once it gets away from the Florida area. And you'll see future casts will show that spiraling rain through Orlando, heading off the coast there around 9, 10 o'clock in the morning, and eventually weather will start to improve across the state there, but they can still see winds could be around 110 across the central Florida area and that storm surge we were talking about. Well, it's now starting to come up here. Tampa Bay drained earlier. Now all that water's filling back in 8 to 12 feet there from Bradenton, Sarasota, Port Charlotte area, 10 to 15 feet of water. Already saw uh, parts there. Sarasota had over 11 feet of storm surge come on in. So while that's going on down there, we're looking at beautiful weather here in town and we could see some breezy conditions overnight tonight. So don't don't be surprised if you see the winds pick up because we're going to be between high pressure and that system there. Of course, Milton down in Florida. We're at 66 degrees with calm winds right now here. Temperatures anywhere from 57 in Jasper, 59 in Coleman. How about 55 in Gadsden versus 72 in Alabaster? And overnight tonight, we'll see lows around 50 at about 57 degrees. Cool and comfortable night tonight and tomorrow. We're looking at plentiful sunshine, a little bit of a light breeze out there, but look for high temperatures around 82 degrees. Warming trend will We'll drop temporarily Friday with lows near the 40s around 50 Saturday morning. A lot of sunshine this weekend, but another cold front Monday and take a look at Tuesday and Wednesday. Much cooler middle 60s for highs and how about lows down in the 40s? Talk about some late fall temperatures.